guest has written hundreds and hundreds of poems starting from 1980 to where we are right now a lot of it focuses on human condition how we are and she's someone who has dealt with a lot in her life and this book i think really makes you think it's called inner lights gm crook joins us hey gm thanks for coming on yeah thank you So let's talk about your poetry and why you decided this was the time to pull it together and and, uh, put it out there in the world. Why did you do this? Um, My husband was dying in New Zealand Hospice. And he told me, he once sat down and said, Grace, I want you to get published. And so I (laughs) went outside my comfort zone uh-huh. And Reader's Magnet have kept my work, and here I am today. And there you are. The book is a collection of poetry, and it talks about um, your life story, how you overcame so many demons that you faced. Tell people what you had to deal with. I had to deal with the death of my husband. It's been three and a half years now. Um, I also dealt with child. I was abused as a child. Um... Uh, you know, through my teen years, and I had a period where I drank too much, went to parties, and I found God. And, and, and he. And so, in doing that, did that change your life? Oh yes, dramatically. Um, I went to social media. It was during the pandemic, and I. Connected up with a widow's group. I connected up with the bipolar group. And I still belong to those two groups. And, I'm, you know, because I love the people there. And I also belong on a writing group called writing.com. And they helped me when I first started. I joined there to 12. And they helped me with my writing. I mean, I... I wasn't real good back then, and now, wow, here I am. So the book's title, Inner Lights, why do you call it Inner Lights? Inner Light is the handle I use on writing.com. I've had it ever since I was probably about 22. Um, And I was just looking through different names and Inner Light just having to hit it at that time. I it just, it just I connected with that name and I had found God and he was my shining light. He yeah. still is. So dealing with being a widow and dealing with bipolar and how does how's that helped you um, with now the world? I mean we're in, in in a, in a place where mental illness and mental conditions, people are starting to understand them better. But you certainly have dealt with it when very few people understood, right? Yes, it was. It's it's still a stigma. When, you know, family members, I don't think really understand what it's all about. And I, oh, yeah, it was like ten years before I even told my mom and dad that I was bipolar and that's why I you know was just the way I was and but through therapy and um, a connection with my therapist I have worked I'm still working through issues and but you know what everybody if they you know, my doctor's recommended journaling. I started journaling, and all of a sudden I was writing poetry through my journals. And so it just stuck with me, and I just want hope everybody else out there would like to give it a chance um, to sit down and write their feelings out. And I, I mean, the pandemic was really tough on me, and it was thousands and millions of people. And I think 
a lot of people that, you know, have just sat down and wrote books. There's thousands of books out there now that have come out of the pandemic. And a lot of them have struggled through their but their illnesses, but they couldn't see and speak to their doctors. But then they started, you know, the video chat. And that helped me tremendously with, you know, being able to connect with the outside world, as I call because I was stuck in my house. Right, <laughs> like then, like so many other people. Absolutely. We're speaking with GM Crook. The name of the book is Inner Lights. And this is inspiring poetry, poetry that collection of poetry that she's written throughout her, her life. And uh, the advice is so great to tell people that, just write your feelings down. I mean, this probably will inspire them to process their own feelings. And through your poems, do you have a favorite poem that you wrote? Yes, I do. It's called My Journey Alone. Tell us about My Journey Alone. It's named that because I wrote it when, after my husband died, I, I, that's when I started really serious writing. And um, the, my journey alone is my way of working through all that grief. And, but then now, to this day, I am stronger. I am better. But, you know, like I said before, like, your illness is never going to disappear. It's always going to be with you. You just need to work through it every day, one step at a time, one day at a time. And that's what my book, my poem, My Journey Alone, is about. Wow. So when people read this, what do you hope they take away from reading Inner Lights? I'm hoping they will find it within themselves to seek help and to write down their feelings mm. and, you know, to, to learn to their feelings and to, you know, to this process instead of hiding away. You know, that's what I'm hoping. Yep, process it instead of hiding away. Great advice. You can get the book on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, GM, Crook, Interlights. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.